Welcome back to our channel, where today we're diving deep into the life of Gordon Cormier, the young and talented actor who brought Aang to life in Netflix's live-action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. Gordon's portrayal has not only won the hearts of fans around the globe, but has also sparked curiosity about the person behind the iconic character. So, buckle up as we explore five shocking things you didn't know about Gordon Cormier. Before we kick off, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for more awesome content. Let's jump right in. Number five, Gordon is Filipino-Canadian. Let's kick things off with Gordon's background. Did you know he is Filipino-Canadian? This rich heritage made him a perfect fit for the role of Aang, which called for an Asian actor. Born in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Gordon shares a deep connection with the place where the series was filmed. His birthday is on October 9, 2009, making him 14 years old. His mom is from Laguna, Philippines, and his dad is Canadian-European. Celebrating his Filipino roots, Gordon recently visited the Philippines with co-star Dallas Liu, who plays Zuko, marking his first visit since he was seven. From sleepovers with his grandma in Taguig to exploring local snacks with Dallas, Gordon's journey back to his roots was nothing short of magical. And yes, they loved the mango nectar and sweet corn chips, but the milk powder? Not so much. Number four, Gordon used to do taekwondo. Transitioning from heritage to talent, Gordon's not new to the world of martial arts. Having practiced taekwondo from the age of four to seven, his early training undoubtedly helped him grasp the complex stunts and fighting scenes of Aang with remarkable ease. Dallas Liu has even commented on Gordon's natural athleticism, emphasizing how quickly Gordon picks up on stunts, making those intense fighting scenes look effortless. Number three, Gordon loves to skateboard. Matching Aang's boundless energy, Gordon's off-screen life is filled with action and music. A passionate skateboarder, he spends his free time cruising through the skate parks and streets of Vancouver. But Gordon's talents don't stop there. He's also musically inclined, playing both the guitar and piano. This combination of physical agility and musical ability showcases a well-rounded individual who, much like Aang, is full of life and diverse talents. Number two, Gordon watched the original series 35 times to prepare for his role. Preparing for the role of a lifetime, Gordon watched the original series an astonishing 35 times. Although he was born after the animated show, his dedication to embodying Aang was fueled by his deep respect and love for the character and the story. Overwhelmed with emotion upon landing the role, Gordon, who was just 11 years old at the time, recognized the life-changing impact this opportunity would have. A video message from Millie Bobby Brown, highlighting their similar paths to stardom at a young age, only affirmed Gordon's bright future in acting. Fun fact, when Gordon took the Four Nations quiz, he got Fire Nation. Number one, Gordon became very close with his co-stars. Despite being the youngest among the main cast, Gordon quickly formed strong bonds with his co-stars. His close friendships with Ian Ousley, who plays Sokka, and Gyaudeo, who plays Katara, are well-documented, sharing numerous off-screen moments that reflect their on-screen family dynamics. Moreover, his relationship with Dallas Liu goes beyond their character's rivalry, with shared experiences like their trip to the Philippines and practicing fight scenes together, not to mention bonding over having to shave their heads for their roles. This camaraderie off-screen has undoubtedly contributed to the authentic and heartfelt performances we see on screen. Thanks for watching! What did you think of Gordon Cormier as Aang? What are you most excited for in season two? Would you rather be a water, earth, fire, or airbender? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.